Hey, what's up, VC? I'm back with another video. This is a small edition of The Mail, uh, but it is a small edition because there's only five records, but it's some cool stuff. Uh, have made a real mail video uh, in a while, except for the uh, contest package from Ron Haggerty, Metal Ron. Uh, so go check out his channel down below. I'm still very grateful for that, Ron. That was super awesome, so thank you for that. Um, but yeah, like I said, got five records. Two of them are some cool picture to singles and then three other records I've been looking for for a while. Uh, so we'll start off with this one. The first one is Rory Gallagher's Stage Struck and this is a UK copy. Um, I already have two copies of this that are German pressings but the reason I wanted this one is this version came with a seven inch single that included the songs Hellcat and Nothing But The Devil. Um, and the single is actually still with it. I've seen several copies on eBay uh, that were missing the single, so I didn't buy them. I wanted one with the 7-inch single, so it's cool to have. Uh, nothing too special. Like I said, I already have a couple copies, but just wanted that single, and I got this record for the price that the single sells alone on eBay, so that was a good deal. Uh, also with this one, uh, this next one, this is an album I already had, uh, but... I wanted a Japanese press of it, and I've been waiting, and I'm glad I did because I found this copy for, um, I think, $14 with shipping, so $10 plus $4 shipping, uh, and it is Asia's first album, and it is a Japanese pressing with the Obi strip, um, some cool stuff, got a couple inserts in here. There's this one that looks like the regular, uh, this is the picture on the regular inner sleeve on the U.S. version. And it's got the lyrics with the logo. I've always loved the Asia logo. Uh, I think there's one more insert. Uh, this actually didn't, you know, go with the Asia theme, but this is cool. It has the audio source records where you could order the Japanese records, I guess, in the U.S. And it even has, this is pretty cool. It's not, nothing really special, but it still has the uh, CBS record order form from Japan. So I thought that was cool. And this is on the Geffen Japan label. And this thing looks near unplayed. So I'm very, very happy to own this in my collection. Like I've said before, Asia is one of my favorite bands. Uh, this album is one of my favorite ones. You know, I love the next two albums, but the first album is just totally killer all the way through. Uh, so yeah, definitely happy to have that. And this next album is another one I've been looking for for a while uh, and got a good deal on it. It is, um, actually, I need one more album to complete his solo discography. My favorite guitarist, Gary Moore. I need his last release from 2008, I believe, Bad For You Baby, the last album he ever did before he passed away. I still need that on CD. Uh, but other than that, I have everything that he ever did as a solo artist now, which is pretty cool. Uh, so now I can move on to, you know, the early Skid Row stuff and the stuff he did with Thin Lizzy and stuff. Uh, but anyway, I've been looking for a copy of this album uh, for a while. It's his first solo album from 1973, the Gary Moore band Grinding Stone. Uh, this copy is not in great shape. Uh, the cover is pretty beat, uh, but it still looks nice. And this is a UK press, a first UK press, which is why it was cool. And I got it for a steal, got it for under 10 bucks with shipping. Um... Uh, even the reissues go for 20, 30 bucks. So couldn't believe I found that for that cheap and I'm very happy to add that to my collection. Then on to the last two things. Um, these are pretty cool too, something I've wanted for a while. Also going with the Asia theme. Got both of these for $20, which is a pretty good deal because these usually go for more than 10 bucks a piece. Um, it is two different versions of Asia's Don't Cry. Uh, it's the seven inch picture discs uh, with the b-side true colors and this is the version that has the blue logo with green eyes and then the other version is the opposite it's the green logo with blue eyes so those were cool to add to my collection some cool things they look really cool when they're spinning around like i said i love that asia logo so yeah, that's all my stuff I've gotten in the mail over the last couple weeks. Uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.